Okay, so we're doing the transmit test on the Yaesu FT757GX. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and key it up. We have it in the uh, CW mode. And I'm going to be able to uh, just use the uh, MOX button right here to transmit. And as you can see, there's the meter. See? There we go. So it's over 100 watts. That's on uh, the 40 meter band. And we change it to uh, the 80 meters. And go ahead and... And there's the output. Actually shows it pretty strong on 80. Um, 160, I believe, is uh, a little less. Now, I don't have it cranked up all the way on the potentiometer. I believe it actually would go higher there. Yeah, yeah, it actually <laughs> shows over 150 watts. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, my meter here, not 100% certain on that. But I know it's fairly accurate. I think it's over 100 watts there by a bit. Uh, I do not have, however, uh, output on 10 meters. As you can see, I'm pushing it, keying it up. Nothing. <laughs> it's the only band. I have it on all the rest of them. I have it on 17 and 12 and there you go. There's that band. There's uh, 15 meters. No problem. Uh, 17 meters. No problem. Uh, and I think we already did 20 meters. Yeah, there you go. See? Uh, plenty of output power there on 20 as well. So uh, there's, uh, there's that one. Yeah, so... Uh, so all the bands, except for, for whatever reason, uh, we don't have it on uh, 10 meters. It uh, receives great and transmits great. Uh, looks good. Um, it appears that all the functions work. Uh, AM, FM, CW narrow, uh, upper sideband, lower sideband. Even the noise blanker works. The attenuator works. I know the RF preamp works. I haven't really messed much with the meter selection there. But that's it. This is all the testing we're going to do. The Yaesu FT757GX HF all mode transceiver.